Hello, it's me, Mary, and I am in the hospital. <gasps> and I thought, you know what, I decided to vlog about it because in the end I have nothing to do. Um, so this is my room, just a little tour. <clears throat> Those are my two invisible roommates. Um, I had three of them. Um, yeah, two yesterday, two of them left. Um, I got a new one, and today the new one also left. So it's just only me, myself, and I, and Jesus. Here's Jesus. So I'm not that alone. <clears throat> this is my corner. It's not that bad. I number 33. And this is the beautiful gas mask that I have to do it like three times a day. And I all got steroids, I don't know how to call it. And this is the view that I have. So it's not that bad. Just imagine me eating there on the little table, watching outside <laughs> to think that I have some dinner somewhere there at the square. So yeah, I sound a little bit weird, but it's because of my medicine. Um, yeah. really quiet it's not that bad right it's the bedroom and me I'm, I don't look at bad like a couple days ago so it's okay and this is a window so I can't escape I can't escape <laughs> yes lady Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is three feet tall. So, what did actually happen to me? Um, yeah, I don't know how to explain it. I'm, I am a little bit sad and I look like I look very sick, which I am. I look better than before. Um, what happened to me? I couldn't breathe. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't breathe. So I had some, um, I don't know, some was something in my airways and I couldn't breathe. Every step that I take was very difficult and even talking was very difficult. So imagine how I felt, you know, on vacation in a Bella Italia, in a beautiful Italy, and I couldn't breathe. I almost passed out in Venice. I know there's so much bridges and I almost passed out in Venice. So yeah, um, what happened to me? I couldn't breathe, I couldn't get air and I had it for a couple of days. So at this moment, this is my third day in the hospital. Oh my God, can you believe it? The third day, you're on vacation and you spend your freaking holidays in the hospital. Who the fuck, right? Okay, so my third day here. First day I was in the emergency room for <laughs> four hours. After that, they decided to keep me for one night just for observation. Yeah, sure. Um, it was worse than they thought, so that's why it's my third night here. And yeah. How do I feel? How do I feel? Um, of course, I do feel very, very bad about it. Because if you go on vacation, you don't expect to end up in hospital. You don't expect to end up alone. I'm not that alone. You know, my friend Julia is visiting me um, every day. But it's just one hour, so I am basically alone. Um, yeah, I feel sad. I feel very sad. Um, because in the end, you know, people come and people go and, and you are the one who cannot go. So yeah. And also I feel sad, maybe because I am a little bit shaky because of the medicine. So yeah. Um, yeah, how do I feel? Sucks, but shit happens, right? Um, what am I actually doing the whole day? Not, not vlogging. <laughs> I do not stalk or vlog people or something. Um, so, but, you know, I thought that I could leave today and today's Sunday, but um, they keep me here for one more night. So I thought, why not vlog about it and do some video work, because in the end, 
I didn't film a lot of things. The reason of this is because, I don't know, sometimes shit happens. I lost some friends. I lost some people. They passed away, so it hurts me as well. Um, I went away because I needed some time alone. I went away because I want to visit my friends in Italy. I went away because I needed to. So, yeah. I know a lot a lot have has happened these couple of weeks and days. You know, like losing people that you know, losing amazing people and then coming to a beautiful place, you know, spending time with the most amazing people ever. Like the family that I stay with, the family of Julia, they are so amazing and she she is amazing by herself. <sighs> but the shit that I got sick. Shit that I couldn't get oxygen. So yeah. I really don't know what I'm talking about right now. I may even talk too much, but yeah, I'm a little bit sad. A lot has happened. A lot has happened. And that's why I didn't vlog for a long time, but... And also, um, there's a part of me that needs to find myself again. There's a part of me that needs to be me again. You know what I mean? I want to be real. And I want to share with you guys, not only the beautiful things, not only like when a guy Enrique Iglesias you. I just do not just only want, you know, like life is beautiful, believe me, it is. But it's just not only beauty, it's also sock side like this. You know, look what I have in my arms. I put fucking mask on every day, I get some medicine in me. And I'm alone, so. But it's good that I'm alone, because I have time to think. Think me. Thinking about life, where I want to go. Of course, all of you guys know that I want to be an actress. Very good one. Actually, uh, I am actually a very good one, if I'm honest with you. I just want to have a chance to show it to everybody, but... Give me time to think about life. About future, and about what I want, and about what makes me... Me again, you know? So... I am. Um, so if you end up in a hospital in a foreign country, take your laptop with you, a lot of things to read, and I don't know, your phone. Try to get a password of the Wi Fi, which I don't have. Um, I'm not gonna give you any tips about how to survive in a hospital because it's my third day. I eat, I sleep, I get medicine, and yeah, I take, a lot, I take showers. So yeah. I think I got a new roommate now, so I have to go. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.